everyone, I hope you're well. I've found a potential method that can help you to improve your aim drastically without any practice whatsoever. It can take a little getting used to, but it's well worth the change. This change should help you to track enemies whilst firing full auto weapons, but it also helps to line up the next shot with single fire weapons like the wingman and longbow too. Not only that, but it gives you a clearer view of where shotgun pellets are landing, which can give some useful information about how you need to distance yourself with the peacekeeper. It's really straightforward, just turn off your hit markers. I'll explain why this change can be so beneficial. If you're anything like me, you'll care more about visibility and frames in a game like Apex Legends, but ever since the latest patch, you can no longer edit the config file to reduce muzzle flash, turn down over the top effects, or adjust settings to increase performance. This had a big impact on visibility for me, and it impacted my frame rate negatively too. I've got the frame rate issues sorted now, thankfully, but it still leaves one big problem visibility. I want to be able to actually see what I am hitting. It turns out switching off hit markers gives you more visibility than you'd have first thought. You can actually see where your bullets are hitting on players, at least so much more than with hit markers. You can still keep the damage indicators on, so you still get visual indicators when you are dealing damage, and you don't lose any information about when you are close to knocking a player. On top of that, the sound indicators still work, so you'll know when bullets hit, when you get headshots, and all that lovely stuff. I found that by switching off hit markers, it was immediately easier to track my shots with full auto weapons. Tracking players as they ran felt that much more fluid. I'm a strong believer that aim is all about muscle memory. All you need to do is keep the same environment and your wrist will learn how to aim at the right points by itself. But for your muscle memory to work, your brain needs to know what to aim at. And well, that means your eyes need to be able to focus as much as possible on the target and where they are moving. With hit markers removed, it adds that extra bit of visibility so that you aren't trying to put in guesswork about the exact location of a person's head or upper body. Super easy stuff. That's pretty much it. A short video for sure, but you may be surprised at how much of a difference that actually makes in Apex Legends. It did take me a couple of hours to get used to it, but actually it was a lot quicker to get used to than I thought it would. I also turned up the effects details, not sure if that helps, but each shot has clear visual feedback with blood as well. Coming from games like PUBG and Counter-Strike, it just seems like common sense not to have hit markers. Now that I've made the change, I'm not going back. So. That leaves it up to you. I challenge you to go and play for a day without hit markers on and tell me what your experience is. I'm curious to see if this change will improve other people's gameplay or if it's just me. With that, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Do you think visibility in Apex needs to be improved? Will you try playing without hit markers after watching this video? Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!